Before starting the video, please understand that this video is for educational purposes. It is designed to help the viewer understand what power laws the character is using. I am not telling the viewer to use the laws themselves. If that's what they are here for, I personally cannot stop them. Thank you. We may now begin. In 1998, a man named Robert Greene published a book called The 48 Laws of Power. It gained mass media attention for its evil and cruel messages. Even Hollywood celebrities, musicians and businessmen started to use the laws. I mean, that's who it was meant for in the first place. Why would you need power if you weren't good at anything? If you need me to spell it out for you, this book is meaningless for the people who haven't achieved anything in the world. If you realize that you haven't achieved anything of importance, then I suggest you do so as quick as possible in order for the book to be of actual value to you. We'll learn the laws now and achieve greatness later. Do not blame external circumstances. Problems can be fixed with correct thought and actions. So, get ready to write your notes, get some popcorn. This video is major spoiler free and you can turn on the captions. This is Yuichi Katagiri and the 48 Laws of Power. Law 39. Stir up waters to catch fish. Anger and emotion are strategically counterproductive. You must always stay calm and objective. But if you can make your enemies angry while staying calm yourself, you gain a decided advantage. Put your enemies off balance. Find the chink in their vanity through which you can rattle them and you hold the strings. By stirring up waters, you will find lots of information that people kept hidden from you, either positive or negative. You can choose to do this openly or anonymously, but both will give you different outcomes. If you willingly display to the enemy that you are the one who stirred the waters, then you will get a personal paragraph verbally delivered to you by the enemy, explaining why you're a scumbag. Some information they deliver could be valuable, so you don't want to completely throw the statements to the side. You can use them to improve yourself. If, however, you do it anonymously, it's a lot likely that they will reveal their true nature due to the constant stress and anxiety of the situation. In the badmouth game, Yuichi used this law sub-openly. He took some actions that would only grab the attention of the enemy, not his innocent friends. Every action that Yuichi took was either building to or a move that gave evidence that this particular person was the enemy. And once Yuichi was sure it was that certain person, he delivered a final blow that made the enemy dig their own grave. Some would say that they started digging their grave right from the beginning of the game. Law 9. Win through your actions, never through argument. Any momentary triumph you think you have gained through argument is really a pyrrhic victory. The resentment and ill will you stir up is stronger and lasts longer than any momentary change of opinion. It is much more powerful to get others to agree with you through your actions without saying a word. Demonstrate. Do not explicate. If you're ever in a situation where you want to shut some people up, show them why you're right and they're wrong. Do not argue with them, because arguing will inevitably bring in logical fallacies. People have preferences, preferences on who they like and who they want to trust. So just because you know you're correct, and even if you are correct, it doesn't mean anything if you don't show it. When Yuichi and his friends were playing the first game, Yuichi broke one of the rules, which was to speak or say anything that wasn't the question on the paper. He was obviously trying to identify the enemy, but also simultaneously showed to his friends that they can trust him, at least a little bit. Before we continue into how Yuichi Katagiri uses the 48 Laws of Power, I want to thank you all for 25,000 subscribers. The fact that we could reach this number with only 8 videos is incredible. I want you to know that this is your doing, because without you, I wouldn't be here thanking you. I'll try to post a lot more, since I can clearly tell that you guys want it. But in order to do that, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button if you actually want to see more power analysis videos like this. Thank you once again. Please like the video, and let's get back into it. Law 48. Assume formlessness. By taking a shape, by having a visible plan, you open yourself to attack. Instead of taking form for your enemy to grasp, keep yourself adaptable and on the move. Accept the fact that nothing is certain and no law is fixed. The best way to protect yourself is to be as fluid and formless as water. Never bet on stability or lasting order. Everything changes. You have to be adaptable to change. 
Let's say you have a fixed schedule from when you wake up, what you do throughout the day and when you go to sleep. What happens if you oversleep by a couple of hours? Does your whole plan get thrown out the window? Do you even try to get back into the flow state? Most people don't. They just say, I'll do it tomorrow, which is not very effective at all. 24 hours of your life wasted. When Yuichi's plans went sideways, or certain situations turn out to be different than he originally thought, he didn't go hide and cry in the corner, he adapted. He analyzed every single person, every little thing, every little detail that could help him on his mission. And when something changed, he changed with it. Law 3. Conceal your intentions. Keep people off balance and in the dark by never revealing the purpose behind your actions. If they have no clue what you're up to, they cannot prepare defense. Guide them far enough down the wrong path, envelop them in enough smoke, and by the time they realize your intentions, it will be too late. I find it better to not share my goals with anyone and to just keep them to myself. Because if I just blurted everything out, who knows what might happen. Rumors spread, ideas get stolen, reputation damaged, goals get interfered with. I suggest you keep them to yourself, you'll have peace of mind. Yuichi follows the law religiously. Most of the time, he doesn't even tell his friends where his plan is. And even if he spills some information out to his team and the people he trusts, it's not the full picture. This law helps Yuichi to become formless like water also, because if plans go south, he doesn't need to use his energy to explain to people why he's changing plans. It also makes him look like he knows what he's doing, which gives off powerful energy. Law 5. So much depends on reputation. Guard it with your life. Reputation is the cornerstone of power. Through reputation alone, you can intimidate and win. Once it slips, however, you are vulnerable and will be attacked on all sides. Make your reputation unassailable. Always be alert to potential attacks and thwart them before they happen. Meanwhile, learn to destroy your enemies by opening holes in their own reputations. Then stand aside and let public opinion hang them. One monologue, one paragraph, one sentence, one word. That's all it takes to tarnish your reputation. One thing that you did in the past, a secret, one nasty deed. That's all it takes to tarnish your reputation. If you have something that was done in the past, bury it, because that same thing will come back to haunt you in the future. When Yuichi told his friend group that he was a uh, you know what, it changed everyone's view of him. They would never look at him the same because of something that he had done in the past. If he had never revealed his secret, everything would have been the same. This is the power of words and actions. Use them carefully. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please hit that red subscribe button. I will try to post a video every five days, so your support would be appreciated. Thank you once again for watching. This was made by The Power Analysis. Have a great day.